Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So in this video, we're going to go over how to change the LED lighting effects on the EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 Etsy Ultra card. So first off, when you install the card, you're just going to need to go to EVGA.com, log in or register and log in. Then you're going to go ahead and download Precision X1. When you've downloaded it and you're going to install it, it will ask you to update the firmware and I do recommend closing out of every single application. I actually had an issue doing that, that I actually had to RMA the card, but I'll talk about that in another video. So for now, after you've downloaded, installed, updated the firmware, and opened up Precision X1, the very first screen is going to show you the VGA. You can overclock the memory, the GPU, and then also set the target power and GPU temperatures, as well as change the fan speed. Now here, it's pretty cool. If you highlight memory, you'll notice the memory over here turns on, so you know what you're overclocking. Hover over GPU, same thing, the GPU highlights. Then over, hover over here, the VRMs highlight. So that's pretty cool. For HW monitor, and I'm leaving LED for last, for HW monitor or hardware monitor, we can see the GPU clock megahertz, the GPU memory megahertz clock, or should I say the GPU memory clock megahertz, the GPU temperature, and then if I left click over the number one, these are all the different things I can enable as well. Now if I had a second card, there would be a number two here, and I can do the same. Now, if I click on LED, that's where we can see the actual card itself. So right over here, you see the card is selected, the very first card, or the only card in my system actually, is selected but if I had two cards I can click on here and if I had the SLI bridge that also lights up I can select it here but since I don't have those I'll go ahead and turn those off so on the drop down down here I'll just click that and I'll click static off and then I'll click apply you notice the card just turned off okay so if I come over here and I go to static on now I can select whatever color I want and actually, I'm on advanced. I'm going to go back to basic for right now. Uh, I can select between red, green, or blue, RGB. If I wanted more colors, don't worry if they have them more, or they have more of them, I click on advanced, then I click again over here, and then I can select any single color I want, and I can even get as granular as selecting the actual numbers here to create, get the actual color I want, the specific color I want so that's pretty cool so now for example I want this one so then add to custom colors sorry and then raise it here and then add to custom colors now I can just select that click OK you're gonna notice that'll be that nice blue we selected and then that card will be that blue we selected okay so for now I'm just gonna go back to basic and select green and then I'll click on static on and now I'll go to breathing whoops excuse me I'll go to breathing now we can select here what colors it's going to breathe to and I'll just put everything max so I can change the brightness and the speed click apply then you're gonna see it'll go to those colors but let's say I want some red in there and then I click apply so you see how it goes in between now, if I just want it to stay there, pretty boring, but we can just put it on static at that point. But going back to, let's say, red, and I want the red to be a little less bright, and I don't want it to go through it so quickly. So kind of morphs to red and green, red and green. So now if I go to rainbow, I can go through every single color. I can't control the speed of the way it can, goes through every single color, but I can adjust the brightness. So just not as bright, I'm going to go to sleep, I don't want that much light, even lower if I wanted to, but I don't care, I want it just as bright as possible. The rainbow actually helps soothe me. Now I'll go to pulse, then you can see here it's going to pulse that way and then if I go over here red and then again I can select the brightness and the speed
then I can also work off of temperature. So right now it's more of a green and then in between green because it's between 20 and 90 degrees. Okay, so, and I can of course adjust that, you know, if I wanted to set 120 or maybe 80. And then as I'm playing a game or running a benchmark, it'll go through those temperatures. Now, if you notice, there's LED sync over here. Now, LED sync shows me every single EVGA device. If I had a EVGA case that had some RGB lights or the EVGA liquid cooling that had the, are the, the RGB lights or anything else, again, that is EVGA and has those RGB lights, I can control them here and then actually sync them up. So that's pretty cool. And unfortunately, I don't have another uh, RGB lit EVGA device to show you, but I wanted to show you that you could do that. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and close that out real quick here and go back to rainbow because I just like the way that looks. But that's about it right now. So, you know, again, this is Iggy. I am showing you how the RGB lights work and how you can control them on the EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 XC Ultra card. Yeah, see you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.